Yo, what is up guys? Tony here for today. I'm bringing you another episode of Destiny. Now, in this episode, we are going to be talking about the new worlds in the game. Not only that, but basically what that generally means. So they released that there's going to be four new worlds. Now, one of them is the European Dead Zone, which is an on Earth. So we don't know as of yet if that counts as the world, which I think it's not. I think they're going to show the world later on, like in E3 or hopefully the Sony uh, convention because Destiny has such a great relationship with Sony. My personal opinion on this or the last planet is that it's going to be the planet of the Cabal, basically. We're going to take the fight to them. That's what I think. Now, like I said, the European Dead Zone is a, is a thing. It's basically going to be the hub world. Don't quote me on that. I think it's going to be the hub world, basically the new tower from what they've said like they made a community and all this other shit that they've said in the live stream but that's what i think uh i would love to hear your thoughts on it now the second world is titan or the first world is titan and it's a, uh, it's basically saturn's moon and the cool thing is it's basically this world that has no landmass but it is made of methane ocean and it's on top of this like basically it's like like a trailer i don't I don't remember what it's called but it's made from the old golden age of the humans and shit whatnot but it's from the golden age when everything was crazy and it's at the peak of it not even like uh the peak of the golden age it was a utopia but now it's in disarray it's gone all to shit and everything's sinking not only that, but that's where we find Zavala. Zavala went there to kind of like find his peace with that, with the fact that he doesn't have his light anymore. The second planet that we heard about was Nessus. I don't know where this planet is unless I didn't hear him say. And this basically is a Vex planet. They made it into a machine world. The place looks luscious as fuck. It looks really beautiful. And we find Cade there. We find Cade there in like this kind of like shield type thing that has him immobilized it's really weird we don't know much about it but he comes there to be a hero and gets stuck in the process so the second planet is io so this is a moon in jupiter and the last place where the traveler touched and ikira being a warlock and how a warlock and traveler and knowledge they kind of all fit together she it's obvious that she's gonna go there considering there might be some shit about the traveler that, that she doesn't know so basically it's kind of weird because we, we're all trying to find the vanguards our respective vanguards now i think we're all going to be finding each vanguard because that just makes the most sense it would be kind of dumb if a hunter like myself would just go to Cade and not at anyone else so I'm actually really excited for it. Not only that, but since this does concern the world, there is also a new feature that I'm really excited for where basically the map, they changed the map. So now we have, we have an actual map on us at all time and you can actually travel wherever you want. No need to go to orbit anymore. So you know how when you would raid and you'd be like, fuck, I don't have this gun and you didn't have your phone or back in the olden days when that wasn't a thing fuck now i have to go to the tower oh shit my other character had it now i gotta switch to my character log in go to orbit because that's where they spawn you go back to the tower grab your shit <clears throat> put it in the tower and then switch character and then do the whole process again and then go back to orbit and then go back to the raid it literally was so fucking tedious it wasn't even funny guys so doing this is honestly the coolest thing because i'm a really lazy person and the fact that they just cut all those things into like me just going into my map going into the designated area where i have all my shit i'm being like all right cool got my stuff go back to the raid or go back to whatever i was doing i love that idea that's awesome so that was just a brief like view on the worlds that i got up we did not hear about the fourth fourth world but like i said I think it's going to be the world of, cabal, of the Cabal. I don't know what it's called, if they even have that out there. I'm really excited to see more that this game has to offer, especially now that they've introduced more information. So 
I will see you guys later. Let me know what you guys think about everything. Let me know if you guys are excited. Let me know what you guys think about the fourth world, possibly. And overall, what are you excited about Destiny 2? I will see you guys later. Peace.